get your oats at the airport. Or make sure you get plenty of sun cream, because otherwise you're going to come back looking like a beetroot. Get off your case. What? I don't want you getting to Leeds and then realising you've forgotten something. Oh, hallelujah. It's on time. Why can't you just take me? I told you. I've got too much to do. Greg, where are you going? Yeah. You better have stayed off those levies you last night. What do you think I am? Oh, don't answer that. Hey, I've heard about this Ibiza. <laughs> Foam parties and wet T-shirt competitions. Oh, I could do with a bit of that myself. You'd kill the tourist trade overnight. <laughs> Come on. You better not give you any grief while I'm away. Just go and enjoy yourself. Don't bring me back one of them stuffed donkeys, either. <laughs> right, see you later. See ya. Surgery's closed. You know I'm not here for the surgery. What are you doing here? Came to see how you were. Fine, why wouldn't I be? I know you. Putting on a brave face. Well, a scary face. You've got a lot on your mind. Got a big decision to make. No, I haven't. Carl, this isn't fair. You promised me you wouldn't try and barge your way back into my life. Why'd you keep doing it? Because I care about you. I saw Aaron leaving. Thought you might like some company. Just go, will you? What are you going to say to Paddy when he gets back? Welcome home. What do you think? I mean it, Chaz. I don't care what you say, but you're going to have to tell him. How are you going to look him in the eye and pretend nothing happened? Well, I told you Paddy's coming back tomorrow. Yeah. Well, while he's been away, something's happened with Carl. Oh. I wasn't going to say anything, but now I'm not so sure. You haven't slept with him? <sighs> I have. Oh, Chaz, how could you? After everything that you've said about you and Paddy. Well, I didn't mean to. I had a few drinks. Oh, I feel terrible. I just don't know what to do, Debbie. I have sent Aaron away to Ibiza because he kept on going on about Carl and I thought he'd find out. If you tell Paddy that, it's going to break his heart. Oh, no, but I don't want to lie to him. He's the most decent bloke I have ever met. And I love him. But there's something about Carl. I just can't help myself. So me and that lying boyfriend of yours, well, we're two of a kind. He says he can't help himself either. <laughs> 